Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are out here doing some pre-fishing on uh, one of my favorite lakes in Indiana. It's It's been real nice to me and my dad in the past. Uh, we're actually pre-fishing for a high school tournament that I have tomorrow out here. Uh, it's kind of just a club tournament between two schools. Um, but nonetheless, we're gonna be doing some pre-fishing. Uh, it's, it's a really nice day. It's one of the nicer days that we've had in a long time. I think it's like 75 degrees. I finally got to pull out the shorts and the flip-flops. Um, but right now we're running up the creek up here and we're gonna we're gonna fish a little pocket that we fished last year and caught some good fish in. Um, pretty much pre-fishing, we're just gonna run around, and see what we can see what we can find, and just pre-fish as much stuff as we possibly can, and hopefully find a good quantity of fish, a good quality of uh, a good quantity of quality fish uh, that we'll be able to fish for in the tournament. So we're gonna start back here in this little pocket, and uh, should be pretty fun. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Whip around that chatterbait. Was it chatter? Oh my god, this Get the net, get the net. Dad, that's a five pounder. That's a five pounder, Dad. Don't horse it. Dad, Dad is that nice? That's, that's, that's he's four. He's good color. Well, that's a good pre-fish fish right there. Yes, sir. Wow, he pumbled it. He pumbled that that freaking thing right there. I believe my GoPro was on, but that fish pre-spawn. Look at the gut on that sucker. I gotta get a picture of that, how he ate that. Right in here, I'll show you guys here in a second. All right guys, so we pulled up in this pocket, caught the first fish here, first pre-fish fish, and this fish is filled up. I mean, that is, look at that. I mean, that fish is really pre-spawned. We're gonna get a weight on him. I'm gonna say he's right at three. Um, we're gonna get a weight on the Rapala scale here. Pumbled the chatterbait, absolutely pumbled it. I'm gonna say he's right at three. I thought it was five when he came up and blew up, but. Oh, wow. Show us. 332. 332 right there. All right, guys, we're gonna get a release on this big girl right here. 332. So about a three and a half pounder, that's a big stomach right there. Good fish, we're gonna let her go back in here. All right guys, so we uh, made a run across the lake and it was pretty windy. <laughs> we got a little squirrely going there for a little bit. But um, as you can see, it is there's very strong winds today. I mean, the, the winds today are are crazy i mean look back in this pocket that we're in it is i mean there's hardly any winds probably two three maybe five mile an hour winds but then out on main lake it's 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 blowing 25 30 plus easily so um th the winds are crazy the winds are crazy like i said earlier we are pre-fishing for a tournament tomorrow and um, i'm pretty happy that i was able to catch that that basically it was 330 but basically three and a half pounder uh so th three and a quarter pounder um back up in some reeds with a chatterbait uh, which is which is good 
um, cause I like throwing chatter baits. So it was weird too. Cause I was reeling, like I said in the video, I was just reeling it. It hit the pad. I just ripped it clean and he was just on there. He just gobbled it up. Um, but hopefully we're going to get back out here and get back on fish, get back out there fishing and, uh, catch some more fish. But this wind is absolutely crazy. I mean, just listen to it. This, this wind is just, it's, it's crazy. All right, guys, so we are off the water, obviously. We're back in the hotel that we're actually staying at. Got all the camera gear laid out here. Got my laptop. We're importing the footage from today. Got my tournament jersey hanging up right there. Team Martin, baby. Boat over there, dad's covering it up. And uh, we're just kind of kind of relaxing. The, uh, the day's over. Uh, tournament starts tomorrow, so blast off is like eight o'clock. So we gotta gotta get up pretty early. Uh, as you can tell, look at this. I got a great got a great tan today. Nice sunglasses tan. Um, thanks to the Costas. But um, yeah, like I said, day's over today. Um, you know, I really been racking my brain trying to think about kind of wh where we're gonna start, what we're gonna do tomorrow for the tournament. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, I only caught one fish today. My dad didn't catch any. I only caught one fish today, but it was the right fish. It was the right bite. It was in a good area, right area. Um, it was a th basically a three and a half pounder. So that's, that's a, we need five, five of those fish tomorrow and we will win the tournament. Almost, oh, I almost bet on it. Five of those fish tomorrow and we'll win the tournament. So I think we're gonna go back and start in that area that we finished up today. I think that's where we're gonna go back and start uh, the tournament at. Uh, it is quite a bit of run. I think it's about a 15 minute run, but it, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, so basically I got a bunch of rods rigged up for tomorrow. I think I got like nine rods rigged up uh, to start out. I got a, the water tip was in the 60s, high 50s in that area where I caught that fish. It was 61, 62. So I got a frog rigged up. Um, I have a trap rigged up. I got a, I got a uh, square bill rigged up. A chatter bait, which is what I caught it on. I got a spinner bait. Um, I also rigged up a Texas rig uh, with a very small weight, very, very small weight pegged because it's supposed to be windy. So I got a small weight, so I'll be able to actually kind of be able to flip. Um, but I got that this rigged up on braid, and I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna have like a Texas rig with like either a um, probably like a Senko, most likely a Senko. Um, that if I see a fish maybe blow up or come up and boil on the surface, I'll be able to pitch right over to him and um, hopefully catch him. So I got that, like I said, chatter bait, um, spinner bait. That's pretty much pretty much the meat and potatoes of what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Um, it should be a good tournament. I'm looking forward to it. Yep. All right. Predictions for tomorrow. Wait. Wait, and how you think we're gonna do? I think you come in with three or four fish, good fish. We will. And if they're on that spinner bait, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a bag. Okay. With three good fish. And what do you think is gonna win the tournament? Double digits, but low double digits. Like 11, 12 pounds. Mm -hmm.